Welcome to China. This is Living Local, Traveling Global with Kelly Farrow, featuring United States Tour Operators Association member Wendy Wu Tours in China. I had heard about China on almost a daily basis since childhood, but it wasn't until my journey with Wendy Wu Tours, the United States Tour Operators Association member, that I actually was able to go there. We know China very well, and we will explain and uh, help you to ex ex experience the real China very well. Our itinerary had us tackling three incredible cities in seven days: Shanghai, Xi'an, and Beijing. Welcome to Shanghai. We started in Shanghai, the financial capital and most populated city in the world. It certainly had that big city feel: skyscrapers, wide streets, world-renowned shopping like the Nanjing Pedestrian Street, and so much more. And it's beautiful. It's pretty. It's so、uh, how to say it, like、mm, more more modern than other cities, you know. However, it also had a quieter side, with beautifully manicured parks popping up right in the center of the city. It's amazing that this serenity could exist, with the koi ponds, the soothing musicians, and the older generations practicing tai chi. I completely forgot that I was in the middle of a massive city. Shanghai's old town was transportive as well, recreated to look like how the city used to be hundreds of years ago. This area is popular with locals and tourists. So I'm really liking this area. This is Old Town Shanghai, and it's just so vibrant. There's so much going on. There's shops, and there's food stalls and vendors. People walking around, and it's a great mix of tourists and locals. And I love how you have this old architecture, so historical in China. And then right behind it, you can see all the skyscrapers because we're in the middle of Shanghai. The Yu Garden was certainly picturesque with its temples, pagodas, and bridges. Just a quiet escape back through time. Next in Xi'an, one of the previous Chinese capitals for many thousands of years, we found a city that blended the old with the new. The city walls remain intact from thousands of years before, and a park surrounds them, where we found many locals to be quite active. I met some working out, challenged some to ping pong, and ogled at many mahjong games. However, I think the best part of the walls were right on top. It takes a long time to go around the entire city, so I decided to check it out by bike. The city walls protected Xi'an from invaders in the past, and now they serve to remind this modern city of its historical roots. People here is totally different with other cities. I think the people's life here is easier, and all people is easygoing and much better than the big cities like Beijing and Shanghai.、Uh, local people,、uh, we always said we will never leave our hometown. Welcome to Beijing. Beijing was the grand finale of our itinerary with Wendy Wu Tours, and it lived up to the hype. From street markets to Peking Duck, skyscrapers to hutongs, this city seemed to have it all. And not to mention a slew of famous historical sites like Tiananmen Square, the Forbidden City, and so much more. I think Beijing is the place or the city that、uh, you can find. A very good combination between old fashion and new fashion. The Forbidden City was the imperial palace of China's emperors from the 1400s to the 1900s, and it certainly was a city. There were so many outdoor courtyards, outer chambers, inner chambers. There's just so much going on, and I really loved the architecture, especially the lions that guard each of the different entrance halls and palaces. In the past, most of Beijing's population lived in the surrounding Hutong neighborhoods. Today, a few Hutong-style neighborhoods remain intact, and we were able to visit them with a guide on our journey with Wendy Wu Tours. We took a rickshaw even to see some of the main areas. I enjoyed strolling down the charming streets with the trendy cafes, unique bars, and generally hipster vibe. And we stopped for lunch inside the home of the Fan family. They welcome travelers into their home for an authentic home-cooked meal and a peek inside local life. This is my home. Um, yes. And then we are mainly our family is a family family. Um, some some foreigners come to our home to learn Chinese culture and then to experience the local Beijing family food. Of course, the Great Wall is a must-see when you go to Beijing, and it's worth it to get up early and get there before the crowds for the most incredible views. I only experienced three destinations in this giant country, and there are just so many stories to tell. But one thing that remains consistent: all the locals were truly welcoming. 
come to China and join with the new tours, you will experience a different world.